tales, and I'm the Lion King that you know so well. Yeah, these are the tales, the Lion Tales. Greetings, YouTube. I'm Lionel Leach back at you from right here at the Green Thumbs Gardening Channel. Today is indeed Saturday, March 28th, 2020. And in today's video, we'd like to bring you guys along with us as we plant bush beans at the Red Shed. That's right, YouTube. We recently named our two foot by six foot main Hugo Country Garden Planner after our dear friend Holly's channel up in Cleveland, Ohio. We're gonna take a trip over there right now and show you what we're about to plant in that planter. Hang tight, YouTube. Indeed, YouTube, here we are at our two foot by six foot main Hugo Country Garden Planner. And as you can see, we've already begun the process of adding Mrs. Holly's name uh, channel's name on this planter, the Red Shed. You guys see that? We have that all done by this time tomorrow afternoon. But in today's video, we're going to plant bush beans that we received, received as a gift from our dear friends Mark and Tina up at Bumblebee Junction in Eastern Tennessee. We received these seeds last season in a package of seeds from uh, Mark and Tina up in Bumblebee Junction. Uh, they're a product of Johnny Selected Seeds up in Winslow, Maine. We tried our hands at these uh, midsummer and it was a little too hot for them at that time last year. They didn't do so well, but we did end up with a couple of handfuls of um, bush beans from those particular plants last year. This year, we thought we would plant these bush beans here in a partially shaded uh, area of our front yard garden extended row area here in this two foot by six foot main hill culture garden planter. Uh, we thought that we would plant them uh, early in the spring before it actually gets too hot here uh, at the Green Thumbs Gardening Channel. We're actually going to plant uh, two rows of these Rock Door OG bush beans here at the Red Shed. We're going to show you guys how we go about making our holes in our soil here, how far we go about spacing those out, and also give you a little more information about why we chose this planter to plant our bush beans in this spring. Hang tight, YouTube. All right, YouTube. The process, of, process for planting bush uh, beans is fairly simple here. We're simply going to uh, poke holes down in the soil here about one inch deep. We're going to make those holes uh, about two inches apart. We're going to plant two rows here. One here towards the front, front of this planter and one uh, closer, closer to the rear uh, side of this planter here from uh, end to end. We're gonna go ahead and put our holes in our soil now. We're gonna come back and show you guys what those holes look like and how far apart they're spaced out. And we're gonna go ahead and drop our uh, bush beans in those holes, get those seeds covered up, come back, give them a light watering, and we'll show you guys each step of that process. I can catch you too. All right, YouTube, indeed, we're back at the Red Shed. We're gonna give you guys a linear view of the garden bed. end to end, you can see about roughly how far apart we have our holes here spaced out. They're roughly two inches apart, about an inch deep. Same thing on that back row back there. You guys can see those holes. Same distance, uh, distance apart and roughly the same depth as all the holes in the front. We're gonna come back at this time, drop one bush bean in each of these holes, and then we're gonna come back, cover those holes up, give them a light watering, and show you what it all looks like when we're done. Hang tight, YouTube. All right, YouTube, here as you can see, I have a handful of those bush beans. I'm simply gonna drop one of these bush beans down in each hole. Excuse my shoddy camera work, uh, YouTube. You guys know I don't always have assistance out here in the garden, so it's kind of hard for me to get the best uh, quality videos at times, and I do apologize for that ahead of time. But again, we're simply dropping one of these bush bean seeds in each hole. 
as we go along these rows. And I tell you, YouTube, it's just March, with the end of March, and already here in Grow Zone 8B, Tifton, Georgia, the gnats are an abomination. I'm out here right now trying to shoot this video, and when I tell you, the gnats are in full effect out here, attacking my face, arms, legs, any exposed flesh that they can find, my eyes, face. They're all over me right now, YouTube, but I'm planting my, pea, my beans today. They won't be stopping that at all. Again, guys, as you can see, I'm just dropping one bean in each hole. For anyone who's just joining us at this point in the video, these holes, again, are approximately two inches apart, approximately one inch deep. I'm going to come back here and do a hole count here once I get all of these beans in these holes and see exactly how many uh, beans we dropped in to our, to our two rolls. I can give you guys an accurate uh, count on that. Give me just one second here, YouTube. All right. Okay, so we have a total of 23 seeds planted in each of these rows. That gives us a total of 46 uh, possible bush bean plants here. If they all do um, uh, actually germinate and uh, make it here in our gardens. Right now, I'm just going to give our seeds a light dusting of soil, as I always do with whatever seeds I'm planting. We never plant anything too deep or cover it too heavily after we um, plant our seeds we always tend to have good and swift germination of seeds in our planters here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel okay. lightly cover them in YouTube nothing special Nothing heavy. Try to remove any larger uh, bits of tree bark or anything that might obstruct the uh, seedlings from emerging from the soil. But yeah, just get these lightly covered in, you two. And that's what it looks like with everything all covered in again. A light coating of soil once we got all of our seeds down into those one inch deep and two inch apart uh, holes there. YouTube, we're simply going to come back now, water these seeds in, and we will indeed be bringing you guys back to the red shed at the very first sign of seed germination. And we do expect for that to be within the next three to four days here at the Green Thousand Garden Channel YouTube. At any rate, if you are indeed watching this video, and you're not currently subscribed to the Green Thumbs Gardening Channel, please take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Yeah, planting bush beans at the red shed. Thanks for watching, YouTube.